Welcome to the DES tutorial, how to approve or reject candidate photos. So you've gone through and approved or rejected some candidate info, and now you're moving on to reviewing candidate photos. First, you should be familiar with the candidate photo standards. A photograph of the candidate's face, ideally a headshot, right, from the top of the head to the bust, um, should provide a clear view of the candidate's face, be of a sufficient resolution for display on the site, meaning the picture is not fuzzy, and not feature anyone who is not the candidate, and then that is very important. The photo may be cropped prior to the display on the site. Photos might be rejected if the image is not of suffi sufficient quality. Um, the image is not a headshot of the candidate or if it contains violence, sexually explicit, or other inappropriate content. And then just some other notes for the candidates, um, indicating that the image must be a, a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG file, and, and have the resolution greater than or equal to 400 pixels. And that really just helps to clarify the um, quality of the image. So let's go through some examples of candidate photos. Remember that the candidate status must be participating in order to approve his or her photo. So here we are in the review items page. What better place to start than the top? Um, as with the other candidate review items, in order to view the information there to expand it, just click anywhere on that item and the information expands. So it looks like this candidate is participating, so I can go ahead and edit and approve this photo. So you can click Edit and Approve, and it'll bring up this window with um, a, a cropping toolbar on top, and we can go over what these mean. So um, these buttons are to rotate the image. If a candidate accidentally sends you an image where it's sideways, um, you can actually rotate the image um, in order to have it face the correct way. Um, this little bracket looking button is the cropping button. So when you click on that, you've got the checkbox and the, and the X box, um, which is to indicate whether the photo is okay or to cancel it, and then the save button. So how do we crop this picture? Um, because it's not in the, it's not in the right, um, I guess, proportion that we want it to show up on Butter's Edge. So the way we bring up a crop box is, if you could see my, my mouse right there on Tom Hanks's forehead, I mean, this candidate's forehead. Um, if I, if I click and drag, just drag anywhere, this cropping um, box will show up. And of course, the, the cross icon I have now can help you move the box, right? You hold down the mouse and you can move the box. And then if you go up to any corner, the mouse um, indicator will turn into a diagonal arrow, and that is to help you resize the photo. Right, so I can use any cor corner to kind of make the photo bigger. Um, what I want to do is give it its kind of maximum square footage that I can so that I can get the top of his head down to where the bottom of his bow tie is. Now this is probably the smallest I would go for any candidate. Um, of course you can, you know, you can move the square around. Um, to position it the way you like. Um, I wouldn't go any smaller. Sometimes candidates, and I'll show you in a, in a later example, will send you um, a photo that is just too close up and it's um, having, you know, just the, just the square of the candidate's face is, is not um, as pleasant as having kind of, um, you know, the person's bust area as well. So I feel like I'm this area right here that I have cropped is is pretty sufficient. So if I'm okay with it, I'm going to click the green checkbox, and that um, you'll see the photo is now cropped. All you see is the part that you've cropped. So if this looks okay, you click the save button, and 
and it gave me an error, and it does this a lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Um, it does this sometimes because, you know, the the outer walls of my cropping square sometimes get too it gets too close to the edge, and then it gives me an error. So if it gives you an error, just go ahead and try it again, and this time it should work. Okay, so that just magically disappeared, meaning you have su successfully approved it, and it's disappeared from the review items page. So I'm gonna go on to the next candidate. So here's Casey Milan. Um, she is participating. If I open up the photo, um, I realize there is no photo. It is a vote for me candidate sign, which, um, which is not part of the photo standards. So we're gonna have to reject this photo. Similarly, um, with rejecting other candidate information, you're going to click on the reject button, a pop-up window will appear, and you write the disapproval reason. Um, no candidate photo. And then click disapprove. So the selected item was disapproved and reset as saved. And also similarly to rejecting other candidate information, you're gonna need to make a little sticky note about that. Um, so I've got my sticky note here, but of course you can use a, a scrap piece of paper next to your computer. Um, and just write a note to myself that I need to email Casey Milan, uh, candidate photo rejected, and why. Okay, so then we'll move on to the next one. Here is Matt Davis. He is also participating. Um, a lovely picture of him and his family. Unfortunately, this does not um, pass our requirements. Uh, we can't have anybody else in the photo. No matter how hard, even if I wanted to try and crop only him, you can. there's still other people in this photo. There's no way you can crop just his face um, or try to help this candidate in any way. So I'm just gonna close this out by clicking on the close button in the corner and also reject this photo. Um, this, this photo can't be used, as lovely as it is. Um, so, you know, before I reject, I'm gonna make my note now because this is gonna disappear once I reject it. So I'm gonna take my sticky note, <clears throat> so I have his name, Matt Davis, candidate photo rejected. Um, too many people, I'll just say other people in photo, which is not allowed. So we're going to reject this. Other people in photo, that is the disapproval reason, and then you click disapprove and close out the pop-up. Okay, so the next candidate is also participating, Brittany Mihalik. Let's open up this photo. It's a little fuzzy. If you look really closely, you can kind of see the photo isn't really clear. Um, if I also click on edit and approve, and I try to crop this photo, um, you can't really get, I mean, I guess it's a, it's a, the right size of her head, but it's so fuzzy that, um, you know, again, I don't think this is, this is a photo she would want on Voter's Edge. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and reject it. So a third note on my sticky note. We're just rejecting all sorts of candidate photos today. Um, candidate photo rejected needs larger resolution. Okay, so we're going to reject this. Um, resolution is too small, needs larger photo. So we're going to disapprove this and then um, after we're done with this, we're going to email all of our candidates with um, letting them know we rejected their photo and why. Okay, so here are some lingering candidates. We're not going to touch those. Here's another photo from a participating candidate, John Marchand. Okay, this looks like a great photo that we can edit and approve. And so we're going to do just that. Again, um, click your mouse and drag it in order to get the cropping square. And then resize it. Um, 
to the size you want. So this is probably too big because I can't I can't get his face center. Um, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that I can kind of center his face. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click the green checkbox, and now it only shows me what I've cropped, and then you'll hit the save icon. And so that disappeared. Okay, what other photos do we have? Let's see. This candidate has a photo that can be approved, but I just noticed she is not participating. So we're going to leave it alone until she gives us more information. That is some lingering data we're just going to leave there. Um, let's see, this candidate is participating, and then looking at the photo, there's nobody else there but dogs. Um, unfortunately, this is one we cannot approve um, for several reasons. Um, even though there's no other person in the photo, there really shouldn't be any animals in the photo either. Also, there is not a clear view of his face. He's wearing sunglasses, um, so I would not approve this photo and let him know. So Larry Sweeney, let's write this on my post-it. Uh, candidate photo rejected. Um, cannot see clear view of face. Okay, so those are my notes to email candidates later. All right, so we're going to, again, reject this photo with the reason that can, you cannot see a clear view of the candidate's face. And click disapprove. Okay, so those are all of the photos I had to go through. Um, the last thing I'll mention to you is that you'll notice on the top navigation bar under the review tab, there's an activity log. That is your log, so you can track what you have approved. Um, for example, if you went through this really fast and, and thought, wait a minute, did I just approve a, a non-participating candidate photo? You can actually look at this log and figure it out. Um, if you did accidentally approve something you shouldn't have, please contact me and we'll solve it together. So that is the conclusion. Um, with a couple of recaps, please uh, remember to be familiar with photo standards. Approve photo only after candidate status is participating. And if the photo is rejected, email the candidate, let them know it was rejected and why, and ask them to submit a new photo. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more DES tutorials, please visit the VEC resource page.